The film begins with a man named Harry watching a movie in a cinema. During this, he receives a phone call from his daughter but he does not pick it up. We also see a young couple there and the guy tries to be intimate with the girl but she tells him to stop. Ignoring her, the guy continues to kiss her and the girl gets frustrated. Seeing this, Harry throws some popcorn at the guy and tells him to stop. The girl gets up and leaves the cinema. When Harry goes out after watching the movie, he is confronted by the same guy outside. The guy pulls out a knife and attacks Harry but he quickly overpowers him and beats him. Then, he goes back to his home and leaves a voicemail for her daughter. Soon after he receives a call from her daughter but as soon as he picks it up he hears a detective named Chuck who delivers grim news. The detective informs him that his teenage daughter, Jane, is in a coma in the hospital after being assaulted by her boyfriend. Harry is devastated and shocked by this news. He can't believe that his daughter has become a victim of such violence. Without wasting any time, Harry rushes to the hospital to see Jane. When he arrives, he finds her in a coma, lying motionless on the hospital bed. He sits by her side, staring at her, feeling helpless as her condition worsens. A few moments later, Detective Chuck approaches Harry. He informs Harry that Jane's boyfriend has been arrested and has confessed to all his crimes against her. This revelation adds to Harry's anguish and disbelief. During the interrogation, Jane's boyfriend admits that he first tried to be intimate with her, but when she refused, he became upset and assaulted her. He didn't realize that his violent actions would result in Jane being put into a coma. Following the investigation's findings, Harry urges Detective Chuck to impose the harshest possible sentence on Jane's boyfriend. Harry is clear that if the police don't take the appropriate action, he will seek his own form of justice. Soon after Detective Chuck leaves, Jane's condition worsens. Doctors and nurses rush to save her life, but Harry can only watch in silence. Tragically, despite their best efforts, Jane dies, leaving Harry utterly devastated and heartbroken. A few days later, Harry attends the trial of Jane's boyfriend. The trial is long and arduous, with emotions running high. Harry sits through it all, hoping for justice. After much deliberation, the court condemns Jane's attacker to life in prison. This provides Harry with some measure of consolation, knowing that the man responsible for his daughter's suffering will face severe punishment, even though it doesn't bring Jane back. After the trial, Harry tries to continue with his life, but he finds it incredibly difficult to move on from his daughter's death. He often looks at photos of Jane, remembering the happy times they shared. His evenings are spent in solitude, drinking to numb the pain. The weight of his loss is always present, and he struggles to find a way to cope. Detective Chuck calls Harry one evening to check on him. Not wanting to worry the detective, Harry insists that he is doing fine and thanks him for his assistance with Jane's case. Before hanging up, Chuck tells Harry to call if he ever needs anything, offering a small comfort in Harry's time of need. The next day, Harry goes back to his job as a wrestling coach at a school. There we see a young girl named Katia who is training under Harry's guidance but she seems upset with her progress. After class, she visits Harry in his office and asks him if she can train with better players but Harry refuses to let her train with the bigger boys and advises her to work on herself. This frustrates Katia and she leaves. Harry recognizes a spark in Katia, a determination that reminds him of his late daughter, Jane. Her presence and dedication to the sport bring back memories of Jane, and in a way, he feels connected to his daughter through Katia. Later that evening, Katia finishes her wrestling class and goes home. However, her stepfather Tom is upset because she hasn't brought him any food. Katia, feeling stressed and tired, retreats to her room to avoid an argument. She slams the door behind her, which enrages Tom. He follows her inside and asks her why she can't be nice to him. Katia gets frustrated and calls him a pathetic loser. This infuriates Tom even more and he accuses her of being impolite and believes she is usually disobedient. In a fit of anger, he slaps her and tells her to leave the house. Katia becomes furious at Tom's behavior and fights back, hitting him in self-defense. Fortunately, her mother Linda intervenes and stops the fight before it escalates further. Katia, tired of Tom's mistreatment and feeling unloved even by her own mother, decides to leave despite Linda's pleadings for her to stay. Linda tells her Tom is their only hope as she is already 45 and does not even own a diploma for work. However, Katia cannot take it anymore and leaves the house. Meanwhile, Harry is driving home when he notices Katia alone at a bus stop. Concerned, 
He stops the car and encourages her to get in and talk. He takes her to a nearby restaurant and buys her dinner. During this, he asks Katia about her situation, and Katia opens up about her life at home. She confesses that her stepfather often reprimands and mistreats her, which is why she decided to leave home when Tom kicked her out. After hearing Katia's story, Harry encourages her to return home, reassuring her that Linda would be concerned about her absence. He also promises to talk to Tom, admitting that he regards Katia as his own daughter and refuses to lose someone he cares about for the second time. Harry talks about losing his daughter Jane and it makes Katia feel sorry for her behavior. Hearing Harry's advice, Katia agrees to follow it, so he quickly drives her home. The following day, Harry continues his wrestling coaching duties. After the class, he finds Katia in the cafeteria and asks her why she was absent from the class. Katia tells her she quit and during their conversation, he notices a bruise on Katia's face and learns that Tom has mistreated her again. After class, Harry decides to go to Katia's house to confront Tom. When he arrives, he asks Katia if Linda is home but she tells her she is at work. During this, Tom arrives and meets Harry. Harry asks if there is a store nearby and gives Katia some money to buy food and a painkiller. After she leaves, Harry speaks with Tom about his mistreatment of her. Harry pleads with Tom to treat Katia better, emphasizing that his behavior is severely impacting her mental health. He warns Tom that if he doesn't stop, he will report him to the authorities for child abuse. Tom, however, appears unconcerned and warns Harry not to meddle in other people's affairs. This infuriates Harry, and he threatens to break his right arm if he doesn't comply but Tom finds it funny and begins laughing at him. Seeing this, Harry loses his patience and wrenches Tom's arm, causing him pain. Just then, Katia returns with the food. Harry instructs her to give it to Tom, who is now in discomfort. Katia is relieved to see Harry standing up for her and defiantly tosses the food at Tom's injured arm. The following day, while coaching wrestling, Harry asks Katia if things are fine at home and she looks happier. During this, some officers arrive and Harry is summoned by the police after Tom files a case against him. Meanwhile, Tom is chilling back at his home when he receives a call from his friend named Sergio. Sergio tells him about an auction and offers 10 grand up front. At first, Tom refuses and during this he receives phone call from Katia. She asks him to drop charges against Harry but Tom refuses. Then, she threatens to tell Linda about Tom's affair and he gets mad and tells her he doesn't care. He tells her that he can pick her up from school in 20 minutes and they can both go tell Linda everything. This frustrates both of them and Katia hangs up. After the call, Tom is mad and he calls Sergio again. It is revealed that Sergio works for Rich, a mafia lord who traffics women. Tom tells Sergio about his altercation with Katia, and Sergio offers him $10,000 to sell her to affluent clients at an auction. Tom accepts Sergio's offer and promises to deliver her once she finishes her classes at college. He tells him that he will meet him in an hour. Meanwhile, upon arrival at the station, Harry meets with Detective Chuck, who is surprised by Harry's attack on Tom. Harry admits to the act and reveals details of Katia's mistreatment. Chuck, who seems to believe Harry, tells him to lay low while he carries out an investigation. Following the call, Tom contacts Katia, claiming to be concerned and offering to pick her up from campus as well as Linda from her office. Katia is taken aback by his sudden friendliness and finds it suspicious. When her classes conclude, she discovers Tom waiting for her and, ignorant of his plans, enters his car. The next evening, Harry receives a phone call from Chuck, notifying him that the police have just received a report from a mother regarding her daughter's disappearance. Chuck reveals that Linda is the reporter looking for her daughter, Katia. When Harry discovers that Katia is missing, he races to the school to examine the CCTV cameras. Upon arriving at the school, Harry asks the security guard to show him footage from the cameras outside the college from the previous day. He sees Tom picking up Katia before she disappears. Suspecting her stepfather is responsible for Katia's absence, Harry proceeds to find out where she is. Despite Harry's polite questions, Tom acts arrogantly and refuses to answer. Angered, Harry beats Tom until he acknowledges handing Katia over to Sergio. Harry then hauls Tom inside the car, forcing him to direct him to Sergio's address. Meanwhile, Sergio is astonished by Harry's sudden entrance at his residence. Without hesitation, Harry chucks Tom inside and attacks Sergio, demanding to know Katia's location. 
Unable to bear Harry's wrath, Sergio confesses that he handed Katia over to Rich, a man who usually keeps women for sale in a Las Vegas casino hotel. According to Sergio, Rich auctions off the kidnapped girls to affluent clients, with the highest bidder gaining the right to do anything he wants with the ladies. Angered by Sergio and Tom's brutal treatment of Katia, Harry confines both men in a room before leaving for Las Vegas. He also contacts Chuck, informing him of Katia's abduction by a mafia boss and requesting the detective's assistance in her recovery. After obtaining information from Harry, Chuck goes to Linda to notify her of Katia's whereabouts. After waving farewell, Chuck follows Harry to Las Vegas. As Chuck leaves, Linda also insists on joining the investigation, and Chuck reluctantly agrees. Meanwhile, Harry, who has just arrived at the casino hotel, takes on the guise of an auction participant. He is sent to meet Dale, the hotel's manager. Dale questions Harry about how he learned about the auction, and Harry lies, stating he got the information from Sergio because they were close friends with the Mafia member. Dale seems skeptical but allows Harry to stay, unaware of his true intentions. Sensing Harry's lack of threat, the casino receptionist gives him a room key and informs him of the upcoming virtual auction scheduled for 11 p.m. Once in his room, Harry calls Chuck, who has arrived at the Las Vegas police station. During the call, Harry requests that Chuck and other police units refrain from coming to the casino hotel since he hasn't spotted Katia yet, who is under arrest. Unfortunately, Las Vegas Police Chief Vanessa rejects Harry's offer and plans to conduct a raid as soon as possible. Infuriated, Harry stresses that the Mafia would protect Katia and the other abducted girls if they carried out the raid. He states that he will pretend to participate in the auction to learn the whereabouts of the detained girls. Once Harry finishes his task, he will notify the police, who can then conduct the raid. After hearing his explanation, Vanessa consents to Harry's plan. Later at precisely 11 p.m., Harry enters a room to participate in the virtual auction where young girls are being auctioned. When Harry spots Katia's photo, he bids instantly, but a wealthy Arab bidder offers more, forcing Harry to increase his bid. Unfortunately, Harry loses the auction. He promptly contacts Chuck and urgently requests police deployment to the casino hotel. Meanwhile, Harry personally searches for Katia and the other girls held captive by Rich. Upon receiving Harry's call, Chuck and his team swiftly head to the casino hotel. Harry confronts Dale about Katia's location and learns she's held at Rich's headquarters, a warehouse near the airport. Before heading to rescue Katia, Harry immediately alerts Chuck about the warehouse's location. When Harry arrives at the warehouse, he pretends to be there to pick up Katia, claiming he has won her in a recent auction. Unfortunately, Rich's right-hand man Martin refuses to let him in, insisting on authorization from Rich. Thinking quickly, Harry pretends to be a close friend of Rich's with permission to take his chosen girl. Martin believes Harry and allows him to take Katia, accompanied by one of Rich's goons. When Katia sees Harry, she unintentionally calls him, coach, alerting the goon that they know each other. A fight ensues, and Harry manages to overcome the man. He quickly escorts Katia and the other girls to the underground area for safety. However, Rich unexpectedly appears, disrupting Harry's plan. He orders Martin to move all the girls to a holding room while he confronts Harry. Rich then levels his pistol at Harry, successfully cornering the wrestling coach. Just as Rich is about to pull the trigger, Chuck and his police team arrive at the scene. They swiftly fire rounds to disable the mob boss. With Rich neutralized, Harry and the police successfully rescue Katia and expose the American Mafia's human trafficking syndicate. Harry is relieved that Katia is safe and can reunite with Linda, who has been anxiously waiting for her daughter to return home. In the final scene, Chuck reveals to Harry that he has a new case and asks for Harry's help, signaling a new chapter of collaboration between them. This is where the movie ends. Thanks for watching and don't forget to subscribe to our channel. Remember to subscribe and turn on notifications so you can watch more movies like this. Thanks for watching.